do is, if you're standing up, stand up, put your hands on your lower stomach or right on your belly, right here. When you breathe in, let your stomach expand. And when you exhale, let it go in. So try to breathe in, let your stomach expand. As you exhale, let it come in. Try to know it. Breathe in. Exhale. The thing I'm trying to get at is a lot of people breathe in their chest. They go, that kind of breathing. It doesn't work. Down here will work. It's really you're opening your diaphragm, which expands your stomach. So try it again. It's sometimes called Buddha breathing, baby breathing, or diaphragmatic breathing. So put your hands on your stomach again, breathe in. Exhale. You got the idea of that? Now, we're going to do a count of four, four, and six. I'll make it easy for you. You count four as you're breathing in. Now hold it for a count of four. One, two, three, four. And a count of six, let it out slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some of you can maybe go even longer in that, but for time being, start with this. Try it again. Count of four, breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Start to exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold it for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Exhale, count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Practice that. Keep practicing and you'll start to get better and better. That way you can maybe do for a count of six breathing in, hold it for a count of eight, and then exhale for a count of 10 to 15. And that's where you can start building your strength up in your breathing. The next thing I want to show to you, show you is this. I have some vitamins here. It's called the chi understands what your body needs. I know this is going to sound ridiculous to some of you, but give it a try. Humor me. Put your feet together. Just put your feet together. Everyone got their feet together? Okay, now just relax in that pose. Just take a couple easy breaths. Once you feel relaxed, take whatever you have, whatever vitamins or medicine you're taking, put it in your hand. You can open the lid and smell it if you want, and then close the lid. But put it in your hand with both hands laid over your chest right here. And, and just you can close your eyes if you want, but keep still. And you just take a nice easy breath in, and you can ask the question, is this good for my body? And see what happens to your body. Now, if your body goes forward or side to side, that means that she, it's good for you. If it goes back, throws you back, it's saying this is not good for your body. Okay? You can do this with vitamins, medicine. Your body will sometimes just stay neutral and it may sway side to side. And it sometimes may go forward. And then if it's really not good for you, you'll feel it going back. I only had two items that I tried that threw me back, and it really did. So what I did is I tried it the next day, and it threw me back again. So I knew that wasn't for me. Give it a try. See what you think, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Start the Qi Gun. Let's see what you remember or not remember. We'll put our feet together. We'll honor each other. And namaste. Now step out with your left leg to the side. Palms open. It's called rocking motion. Slowly breathe in, lifting your hands up. Turn them over and let them float back past your hips. Breathing in through your nose. And you can exhale through your nose or mouth. Breathing in. Breathing in, exhale. I'll do one more. Breathe in, exhale. 
exhale down. Just let the arm. Left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, both shoulders. Good. I call this the May West roll. Take your left shoulder and roll it back. Take your right shoulder and roll it back. That gets rid of the stress in that upper body in your neck area. One more and back. Good. Shake those out. Just shake them out. Reach now, into the sky. Breathe in and stretch. Let go and exhale down. So you're holding your breath for a second as you at the top. Breathe in. Hold the breath a second. Exhale slow. Lock your fingers. Breathe them in. And stretch. Hold the breath. Exhale. I'll do another one. Breathe in. Stretch. And exhale. Now this time I'm going to do a little turn with you. Stay with me now. Breathe in. Stretch. Hold a breath. As you turn to the left, exhale. Inhale, coming back. Turn to the right, exhale. Inhale, coming back. Exhale down. I'll do another one. Knock your fingers. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Exhale, turn left. Exhale back. Exhale right. Inhale back. Exhale down. I'll do one more. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale down. And put your feet shoulder width. Pick up the left elbow. Shift, one, right elbow up, two, uppercut, three. Right elbow, one, two, three. Left elbow, one, two, Three. Right elbow. One, two, three. Left elbow. One, two, three. One more with the right. One, two, three. Shake them out. By the way, that's a good one for your brain. Yeah. This is a good one for balance. as a puppet, puppet and you're pulling the strings. Your arm goes up with your leg, the other one goes up. One more. Good. All right. So basically, on your right shoulder, your one hand is facing the other like a T. Turn it this way, and you're going to push it out this way, Make a fist and pull back and down. So I'll start it with the legs. We'll start this way. Make a fist. Step out with the left leg. Push to your left. The left hand is a shield. The right hand, you make a fist. Pull it straight across and then release. Now on the left side, touch and push. A shield with the right hand, a fist with the left. Pull the straight across and release. Touch again on the right side and push. Make a fist, pull. Release. And push. Pull. I do another set. Push. Make a fist and pull. Release. One more set. 
set, push. Make a fist, pull. Release. Bring your left leg in. And down. Easy Tai Chi. So we start with our feet together. First, I'm going to set up a pattern of what we're going to do with our legs. Your feet are together. Put your left leg at 10 o'clock. I'll use 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock as my guide. 12 o'clock is straight ahead. Shift forward, stretch a little, and rock back. I keep my back foot flat on this so I can work my legs more. Stretch back. But if you have to let your back foot come up a little, that's okay. Stretch again. And back. Now bring that foot back. Put your right leg out at 2 o'clock and rock forward. Good, bring that leg in. It is calm in the waters of your heart. My hands come up to the chest and I just push them out here, open into two small circles and come back. That's all there is, two small circles and come back. Okay? And then the hands will rest on the table. Now let me preface it with this. Try to think of this as a meditation in motion or as a prayer in motion. Uh, treat it with reverence. If you treat it with reverence, it'll give it that blessings back to you and it'll be worth it to you. So let's get a start. We'll start here, step out with your left leg, hands come up to the chest, push forward, open and back. Now, if you notice my arms are not winging way out when I say that, I'll pause here. They're not going way out here. They're close to the body, coming back. Think you're skimming along water, and you're just brushing the top of the water. This is a very calming move once you get it down. That's why we call it calming the waters of your heart. I'll do one more. Now bring your leg in, hands rest on the table. Hands come up to the chest, step to two o'clock. Push both hands forward. Make sure you exhale as you go forward, inhale coming back. Exhaling forward. Inhale, come back, bring your leg in, hands come down. So the next move we're going to be doing is pushing water to the sides. The palm, left hand on top, right hand on bottom, step with the left leg to the side, gently push the water. As if you're in a pool of water, push it. Exhale on one side, inhale on the other. Find a rhythm that works best for you. Now from this move, I'm going to go into fan and the wind. So my right hand comes up and my left hand on the bottom. It's like I'm just fanning the wind. Just try to become one with the movement. And the breathing is natural. And now I'm going to bring my left leg in. In. Rest on the table. face each other. I like to keep it about the size of your head width apart. Because the size of my head, that part. Because the center of your hand is a low gung point, they're healing points. So we want to build a polarity of energy between those two points. So the palms face each other, step 10 o'clock. We're going to go around a small drum 
over the drum, it's not a big one, around and back. Don't stretch the arms way out. So you exhale as you go forward. Inhale and coming back. It's not hard breathing, just nice natural breathing. Exhale. Inhale. And now I'm going to bring my leg in. Rest on a table. Palms face each other. Step two o'clock. Hands go over the drum. Exhale. Inhale. Make sure you're breathing. And one more. Now bring your leg in. Step with your left leg. Push both hands out slowly. Turn the palms, pull back. Push out, exhale. Inhale, coming back. As you push out, kind of make it like a little curve with your hand. So I'm kind of curving it down and let it come up. And back. This is a good one to practice your breathing with and going slow as if you're pushing through a heavy air. Do another one. And one more. The leg comes in and the hands rest on the table. Hands come up to the chest. Step two o'clock. Push both hands out. Exhale and forward. Inhale and back. One more. Hands come down. open. The left leg is at 10 o'clock. Now this is important here because most people move the arms up right away. Let the body start moving. It pulls the arms up to form a ball here. As the body starts to move back, it's pulling the arms down. It breaks here, pulls the arms up, pulls the arms down. If you can keep your elbows right here, fairly close to your side, they don't have to be tight, but just close to your side, because if they're winging out, then your arms are going to be way out here. So keep it close to your side. Just go up, slowly come back, the circle small right here, back up. I'm inhaling, coming back, exhaling, going forward. Slow it down more just so you can get the feel. Okay, one more. The leg comes in, the hands circle around and down. Palms open. Step two o'clock. As the body moves forward, the hands float up. Body moves back and the hands are being pulled down. Exhaling. Inhale. And now my leg will come in. Hands circle around and rest. The next one is ball in the valley. The hands start up here 
instead of down here. So they're starting here. Left leg out at 10 o'clock. As the body moves forward, the hands are being drawn down to form a ball in the valley. On this move here, watch your body posture. You don't lean like this. Just keep your back straight and your arms are hanging down to here. As the body moves back, it pulls the ball up towards the throat. Open gently. Slowly pull it back. And my elbows are fairly close to my body. They're not winging way out. It's a real beautiful move. Once you get it down, it feels good. So exhaling, inhale. Always feel conscious of your posture. I cannot tell you the amount of workout you're getting with these small, slow moves. Every part of your body is working. So it makes Tai Chi and Qigong so great. Now as the ball comes up this time, I bring my leg in and I stop the ball here and the hands come down. Now the hands come up to here. Step at the right leg. Slowly bring the ball down. And up to the throat and open. Exhale. Inhale. Do one more. As the ball comes up, I bring my leg in, and the ball stops here. I exhale down. Parting a horse's mane. Turn your left palm up by your belly button. Put your right palm on top. Step with the left leg at 10 o'clock. Slide this left hand up about shoulder height and the right hand facing down by your head. And when you've slotted out, don't let the arm be straight out. Leave a slight bend in the arm, okay? All I'm going to do now is rock back and pull that hand back, then slide it up again. Kind of get the flavor and feel for this. Now bring your leg in and down. Switch palms, right palm facing up, Left hand on top. Step two o'clock. Slide the hand up. And again, notice this, my arm's not straight out. There's a slight bend and this hand's facing down. Most of my weight's on the left leg. As I rock back, the hand comes back. Slide it forward. Hand comes back. You're doing good. Bring your leg in, hands come down. So put your left leg out, hands are about chest height. You push it towards the floor, unhinge the wrists so they float back. Push towards the floor, unhinge, float back. Again, push. Back. And push. I always think of the ocean coming in and the ocean going out. The yin and yang. Yes. As the ocean waves come in, it's the yang energy. As it goes out, it's the yin energy. I'll do one more. And now bring your leg in. Hands come down. It's the other side. Hands start up here. Right leg out. Push towards the floor. Unhinge the wrists. Don't force it, just let it be a natural flow. The effort of no effort. Exhale as you go forward. Inhale and come back.
right hand is up, left hand turned out. Put your left leg out. As I go forward, I'm brushing me and pushing the hand out on an angle. Now this can have many styles to it. So this is my style where I just push the hand out in the direction of my leg. And this hand's going this way. Uh, I come back with it. I brush me, push again. Now I'm going about chest height with my hand that I'm pushing out. Some areas they do it pushing down. I like a chest height. It's my style. So find a style that works for you. Push and back. Brush knee, push, come back and the leg comes in. So you can have fun with that. The next one, this side, left hand up, right hand turned out. Step out two o'clock. Brush knee, push. Back. I'm pushing the direction of my leg. Back. I'm not pushing out this way. I'm pushing this way. Are you getting the idea of this move? It's a real nice move. Bring your leg in. Hands come down. Is uh, hands waving clouds. Now, I think last week I may have told you to put your left hand in front of your face, right hand is here, and then step out with the left leg, and then shift, and do it that way. Okay, well that's one way. The other way is, my left hand is out here. As it comes down, and it starts to come up, I step out with the left leg and go right into it. There's a couple ways you can start this. Shift and wait. Now I can't see you, but watch what I'm doing. I'm not moving my arms here. I'm just moving my body. The only time I move my arms is right here to switch. I'll pause here and just glide with the body. That's how this move should be done. Switch and glide. When it's done right, it looks like you're moving your arms all over the place, but it's really not that way. Are you starting to get the feel of it? I can't see you, but I hope you're doing it. Stay with it. This is a beautiful move. Some mornings I get up and I do my Qigong routine and then I just do this for the Tai Chi. Look at all the parts of the body that is working. I mentioned this last week, this is the most popular of all the Tai Chi moves. And now I'll bring my left leg in, and the hands rest on the table. And the closing, the palms open. Breathe in, bring the hands up together. Exhale to the chest. Open into the lotus flower. Breathe in. As you exhale, close the flower into two fists. Breathe in, push it out to the universe. As you exhale, let it go. Back into prayerful pose. Left leg comes in, 